Avatar The Last Airbender is host to all kinds of large, terrifying creatures, and while some are gentle and peaceful at heart, they all can be quite powerful when they need to be. The fact that every single animal in the Avatar world is a hybrid animal, or at least one animal isn't, which is really funny how they incorporated that into the show. Though these hybrids are all capable of defending themselves, some are certainly more powerful than others. Whether through brute strength or sheer ability, it's time to find the victor once and for all. Your champion, the Blind Bandit! Number 10, Platypus Bear. They are very iconic in the Avatar universe. It attacks the Cabbage Cart and the Serpents Pass with ease. And after nearly killing the male villager and the fortune teller, the kids only manage to scare it away when Appa comes to the rescue. It's half bear, half platypus. It's more of a straightforward hybrid than others like the flying bison. And its power comes from the bear side of its genetics. But given that its head is a literal duckbill, the platypus side of this animal limits how much ferocity it could actually have, and it falls short compared to the other creatures. No, punch him in the bill! Number 9, Komodo Rhino. Rough rhinos to the town! Featured heavily in episodes like Avatar Day and the Warriors of Kyoshi, the Komodo Rhino is a choice animal for Fire Nation soldiers, and they have no lack of brute force or strength. A combination of Rhinoceros and Komodo Dragon, it can easily puncture anything with its long horns. The power of the animal is also clear given the name of its elite mercenary team in Avatar Day, a group of Fire Nation warriors who called themselves the Rough Rhinos in honor of the terrifying beast. However, in comparison to the larger and more versatile hybrid animals, the Komodo Rhino does fall on the less powerful side of the scale. Number 8, Polar Bear Dog. Tenzin will be here in a few days. Naga is the only polar bear dog who does not make a physical appearance in Avatar The Last Airbender because she is technically from the Legend of Korra. Polar bear dogs did exist in the Avatar world and they would have certainly been a fan favorite off the jump. But she suits Korra really well. Yes! Finally! An interesting mix of polar bear and dog. Naga's ears are back and have the dog qualities while her jaw and front feet have more of the recognizable polar bear features. The polar bear's nose is so powerful it can smell food from 20 miles away. Naga is shown to be capable of bursting through walls, car doors, and in Civil Wars Part 2, her sharp and powerful teeth are shown in detail when Korra shoves the judge into her gapping mouth. Fierce, nimble, and strong. The polar bear dog is not one to be messed with. Number 7, Borcupine. The only appearance of this half boar and half porcupine was in the episode Appa's Lost Days when a particularly angry one battles it out with Appa. Despite Appa's enormous size and strength, the porcupine nearly defeats him, and though Appa eventually was able to come to an end, the outcome of the fight was a large testament to the strength of this hybrid. It also doesn't hurt that the porcupine has an arsenal of thick spikes along its back and tusks protruding from its mouth, which were probably the two largest contributors to its near defeat of Appa. These animals are scary and anger quickly, and it's a good thing that they don't exist in real life. Number 6, Sabertooth Moose Lion. Fufu Cuddly Poops is the cub that befriended Sokka in Bitter Work, might be one of the cutest hybrid animals in the Avatar universe, but its defensive mother is definitely one of the strongest. The adult Sabertooth Moose Lion was massive, and its combination of moose antlers, saber teeth, and sharp lion claws made her a formidable enemy in the episode. Aang barely defeated her with a large airbending blast, and she probably only left to better protect her cub. With no little one, it's no telling what could have happened. Aang would have had to hold her off just until Toph comes to help. But all in all, a very strong animal that would do anything to protect her cute cub. Aang, this is my friend, Fufu Cuddly Poops, Fufu Cuddly Poops, Aang. Number 5, Goat Gorilla. <laughs> the only goat gorilla ever shown was Flopsy in Omashu, and Boomy's endearing pet was one powerful hybrid. With massive hands in front and thick hooves in back, Flopsy would have been a fearsome sight to behold had he not possessed such a loving nature. The Fire Nation must have also understood the strength of this creature, as he was shown being forced to push an industrial wheel and return to Omashu. But luckily, Aang rescued him from the life of menial labor. <laughs> oh, that's a good boy. Number 4, Shirshu. 
Nyla and June were an iconic duo in Avatar, and the Shear Show was one of the most interesting and capable hybrids ever produced out of the entire run of the show. A combination of Wolf, Star Nose Mole, and Ant Eater, the Shear Show is certainly bizarre. But these many animal qualities only help contribute to its incredible power and skill. With the ability to smell anything from across the world and paralyze anything in its path with its long tongue, the Shearshu is a true marvel. Nyla was much smaller than Appa and yet she managed to subdue the massive bison with just a few lashes of her long tongue. What a terrifying and powerful creature that I wish I saw more of in the show. Number 3. Sky Bison Abba and the species of his kind are some of the largest animals to ever exist in the Avatar world, and their combination of bending ability, size, and strength helps to contribute to the power of these hybrids. They aren't quite as clear-cut as other hybrid animals, as they appear to be half manatee and half bison, yet don't have any actual qualities of a manatee besides a similar look. With the ability to airbend, fly, and use their large horns and bulk to their advantage, the sky bison is one formidable beast. Appa can defeat dozens of enemies with his tail airbending, force open large doors, and his striking intelligence also doesn't hurt his status as one of the most powerful hybrids to ever be. I missed you, buddy. Number 2. Badger Mole Like the Sky Bison, the Badger Mole also has the ability to bend and a few of them actually taught Toph how to earthbend as shown in the Firebending Masters. The ones that appear in the Cave of Two Lovers are even larger than Appa, and this size definitely contributes to the incredible strength of these creatures. Part Badger and Part Mole Their anatomy is pretty clear, though the Avatar version of this hybrid is much bigger than a real life combination would be. They have the ability to move mountains with their earthbending and traverse anywhere underground, and this blend helps fuel qualities that make the Badger Mole so powerful. Those things are music lovers! Number 1. Lion Turtle was there any doubt that these hybrids would take the top spot? The lion turtle is the size of a literal island, has the ability to give bending, and was used to house people back in the days of Avatar 1, as shown in the Legend of Korra. People lived comfortably upon their backs because they knew under their protection and strength, no harm would come their way. Needless to say, if they weren't so gentle and protective at heart, the lion turtle could squash anything in its path. And I mean anything. There is no true competition, and the animal takes the spot as the most powerful hybrid with ease. There you guys have it, 10 most powerful hybrid animals ranked. Comment down if you disagree or agree with any of these, and please if you enjoy this type of content, subscribe, it helps your boy out a ton. But most importantly, shout out to the article I found all this information, an article from Screen Rant and the link would be available in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, nothing else to say, and peace.